Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. It's Thursday, December the 23rd, and uh, we've got many exciting things planned for this day here at our church. Uh, one in particular is the candlelight service tonight at 7 o'clock, and I pray that all of us will make, uh, make, make arrangements, make plans to be in service tonight. It's going to be a very special evening together. And so let's pray and ask the Lord's blessing on the day. Father, we thank you for the Word of God. And Lord, our prayer today is that you would honor and bless uh, this time of devotion as we come to the Word. Lord, may you speak to us and help us. Lord, may you give us great clarity and understanding as to what the Word of God is and means and how it applies to our lives this day. And so, God, we love you and we pray for your blessing now. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's take our Bibles and turn to Judges chapter 4 as we continue through this particular book. We're introduced to two people, Deborah and Barak. Uh, so the children of Israel uh, have sinned again. God has raised up Jamin, I'm sorry, Jabin uh, of, uh, of uh, and, and Sisera, and now they've come and they are, they are mightily oppressing the children of Israel, and they've done so for 20 years. And so the Canaanites have waxed strong, and now they're, uh, they're just uh, a thorn in, in, in Israel's side. And there's a lady by the name of Deborah. She's a prophetess. Uh, she lives in Mount Ephraim, and she calls unto herself uh, a man by the name of Barak. And uh, God desires to raise up Barak and use him to deliver the army of Jabin and Sisera, into the hand of Israel and give them deliverance over their oppressors. And uh, the Bible says, in verse number 6, speaking of Deborah, says, And she, Deborah, uh, sit and called Barak, the son of Abinoam, out of Kadesh Naphtali, and said unto him, Hath not the Lord God of Israel commanded, saying, Go and draw toward Mount Tabor, uh, and take with thee ten thousand men of the children of Naphtali, and of the children of Zebulun? And I will draw unto thee uh, to the river Kishon, uh, Sisera the captain of Jabin's army, and uh, uh, with his chariots and with his multitude, and I will deliver him into thine hand. And, but the Bible says, look in verse number 8, and this ought not be the response that we make to God. The Bible says, And Barak said unto her, If thou wilt go with me, then I will go. But if thou wilt not go with me, uh, then I will not go. And so what ought our response, what should have Barak's response been? His response should have been, okay, I will go. And so instead, he's relying upon the presence of a person to go with him rather than the presence of God. And Christian, don't say no when God says go. Certainly, they both agreed, and Deborah went with Barak. Uh, but now we find that, 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 that God said that Deborah was going to get all the credit, and she did. You know, it's Deborah and Barak. It's not Barak and Deborah. But, but God brought victory. But the, the whole purpose of this was for God to receive glory. And because Barak refused to go alone, uh, God's glory was shared. Uh, and maybe that's not the best way to describe it, but, but, God, but in the story we see that, that, that Deborah uh, was given honor where, uh, where God never intended to give her honor. And so we see here that Barak... Uh, the Barak's refusal uh, caused him to miss out on the fullness of God's blessing. And uh, certainly God, God delivered. But can you imagine what God have done had Barak gone alone? Had Barak lived by faith? Had Barak trusted uh, in God? And, and so oftentimes in our Christian lives, that's, that describes us. We don't want to step out by faith unless someone's there to step out with us. And, and God wants, maybe God wants you to take that initial step, and then he'll come and he'll prove himself to you. Uh, Christian, you've got to live by faith. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4 that the just shall live by faith. And so don't wait for anyone to take that step and go with you. Now, sometimes we, we miss out on the blessing of God because, because we wait or because we're relying on someone else to go. But what, God never called Deborah to go. God called Barak to go. Deborah went because Barak wouldn't go alone. But God wanted him to go, and he missed out on the blessing of God. Uh, yes, God wrought a work. Yes, the Lord brought victory. But, but Barak missed out on the fullness of God's blessing because he would not take that first step alone. Christian, take the first step. Live by faith. Trust in the Lord and allow God to prove himself to you. Father, we thank you for the word of God today. And Lord, our prayer is that you'd help us to live by faith 
and uh, to not wait for others to move uh, before we follow you. Help us, Lord, be obedient. Help us follow you wholeheartedly, even uh, when uh, it's an intimidating time, even when uh, we would like to have others go with us. Lord, may we understand that, Father, you're with us and you're significant and, uh, Lord, you're enough. But, God, we pray for your blessing on this day. Help us, we ask, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us, Lord willing. We'll see you right back here tonight at 7 o'clock for our candlelight service. Lord bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.